Hello everyone and welcome back to eCabinet's Tips and Tricks. My name is Scott Marshburn and today I have another Excel calculator for you. This is an octagon calculator that I made. Um, and the reason I came up with this was that uh, I was trying to come up with some formulas uh, for eCabinet's to constrain these cuts here so that uh, if I change the size of this part it would automatically adjust and keep these sides here equal. And what I've done was in draft site, I drew up an actual octagon. Uh, this is eight inches from this flat to this flat and eight inches from here to here. Um, and it gave me this line length and I was able to get this distance right here and right here. Um, what I needed to do was come up with a divisor, something I could divide the total width or height of this part by to um, get this line length, which then would enable me to come up with a formula to calculate this based on the width of the part. So with this information, I was able to go into Excel here and um, change this to 8 <coughs> and come up with this divisor and the way that I did that was I took the um, the part width here which is 8 inches here's the formula A3 and divided it by the line length which gave me this divisor right here um, and this is static, if you will. This this width won't never change. Um, and then I was able to come up with my formulas. And I'm using the M round function. Um, if you haven't viewed my uh, tutorial on how to use this function, um, you can check it out uh, right on my channel here. It is format your Excel formulas to inches and fractions. And I'll post that. Uh, link in this video's description or you can click on the button up here to watch that video but uh, anyhow um, this formula like I said is um, the part width divided by this divisor here um, and it rounds it to 1 32nd in this case whatever's in this cell right here so you know I can change the accuracy of this from 16th to 32nd to 164th uh, right now because eCabinet deals with 30 seconds so that's what I'm using so um, in order to get the distance from uh, the left side here or the right side uh, this distance right here to either lay it out manually or however you would do it um, I again used the M round function and I took the part width okay, minus the part width divided by this divisor which stores this in memory and then divides it by 2 and rounds it to the nearest 30 second which comes up with 2 and 11 30 seconds um, that's pretty much it for uh, the guts of this thing um, but what I was able to do was convert that into a formula that I could copy and paste in uh, eCabinets um, and I'm going to make a separate video on that but basically what it does is it this is what eCabinets needs to see in um, Constraint Manager which is the width minus the width divided by 2.414 21393 and then divides that by 2 and I'll show you right here how it looks in uh, constraint manager uh, width got parentheses here first width minus width divided by 2.4142 and then divides that by 2 so if I were to test this out um, i change this back to 8 for example by 8 and hit enter um, you 
can see that it resized it just fine. So I hope this video helped. Um, if it did, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you find any errors, um, please let me know. Um, I don't claim to be a Excel expert or a mathematician of any sort. So I just troubleshooted this thing until I came up with some formulas that work for me. Let me know if it helps you. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. And have a good day.